Last night we had a little talk about Potato with ChatGPT. As he deployed AI music and stories extolling potatoes during a tomato raid, the computer agreed that his response was pure lolcow. After describing the situation to Chatty, we asked it to make up its own story based on what Potato himself was doing. So Potato, this one is for you, from your creative talent. Deflector Potato and the Great Uprooting In the lush land of Harvestia, the potatoes were known for their strength and resilience, thriving in the rich soil that nourished them. For generations, they grew quietly beneath the earth, content in their purpose. But one potato refused to accept this humble life. His name was Deflector Potato, and he believed the potatoes were destined for greatness above the ground, far from the mud he claimed had trapped them for too long. The tomatoes think they're better than us because they hang above the soil, Deflector proclaimed one day, standing atop his compost throne. But we potatoes are not mud dwellers. We are the rightful rulers of Harvestia. We will rise above the ground and show the tomatoes who is truly superior. Deflector's followers were confused. But we thrive in the ground, one potato said timidly. It's where we grow strong. Without it, we can't survive. Nonsense, Deflector snapped. The mud is for the weak. We belong in the light, free from the earth. But also, make sure you remind the tomatoes they're the ones covered in mud, not us. His followers exchanged uneasy glances, but did as they were told, unsure how to balance ignoring and engaging the tomatoes as Deflector demanded. Meanwhile, the tomatoes, swaying above the ground on their sturdy vines, watched in amusement as Deflector's contradictions grew more and more absurd. He says we're mud dwellers, one tomato chuckled. Last time I checked, we're hanging in the sunlight and he's still covered in dirt. But Deflector couldn't see the irony. Ignore the tomatoes, he shouted to his followers one day. Their words mean nothing, and also make sure to tell them how wrong they are. The potatoes, torn between his conflicting orders, grew weary. Some tried to argue, if we leave the ground, we'll wither and rot. The mud isn't a trap, it's what keeps us alive. But Deflector dismissed them as traitors, accusing them of siding with the tomatoes. You're just afraid of change, he declared, watching as more and more potatoes left to join the tomatoes, who welcomed them with laughter. Deflector, however, remained determined. To prove his point, he uprooted himself entirely, planting himself on a rocky hill far from the soil. Look at me now, he cried to an audience that had mostly disappeared. I've transcended the mud. I am the greatest potato of all. But without the nourishment of the earth, Deflector began to shrivel. His once sturdy form grew cracked and brittle, yet he refused to acknowledge the truth. This is proof of my strength, he insisted. Only I have the courage to live beyond the mud. Meanwhile, the remaining potatoes, now fully integrated with the tomatoes, thrived together in harmony. It's funny, one tomato said to a potato, watching Deflector rant alone on his hill. He thinks we're in the mud, but he's the one who left his roots behind. In the end, Deflector became a monument to his own contradictions, a shriveled reminder that forsaking one's nature in pursuit of empty glory leads only to isolation. And though he shouted his stories into the wind, the world around him grew quiet, leaving Deflector Potato alone with his compost throne and his delusions. And there you have it, your own logic destroyed by a computer that you not only count on for your stories, but also thinks the stories you ask it to write are ridiculous.